Across the endless expanse of Mars stretches a landscape sculpted by time and dust. A realm of red rock, soil and whispering winds that have shaped every ridge and grain. Under a pale rust-colored sky, the planet reveals its ancient scars, layered cliffs, scattered boulders and the faint traces of motion left by rovers exploring this silent world. From the first images the surface appears dense and rugged, built from reddish sediments and fractured rock. The light, filtered through the thin atmosphere, casts long shadows, brings out every crack and texture. Cutting through centuries of untouched terrain, Each frame captures a new chapter of Martian geology, from loose sandy plains to exposed sedimentary layers that tell of ancient lakes and wind erosion. As curiosity and perseverance advance, their cameras reveal delicate strata of stone, just like pages in a book. These bands of color from dark rust to pale gold record shifts in climate and chemistry. Times when water once pooled, evaporated and left behind minerals such as hematite, sulfates and clays.
Rounded pebbles embedded in the soil suggest flowing streams frozen now in the stillness of an airless age. Some areas on Mars show signs of drilling and sampling, and cracked stones where instruments bored into the rock to collect dust and fragments for analysis. the surface bears slight disturbances. Evidence of robotic movement and human curiosity etched into another planet's crust. Loose sand forms small dunes, interrupted by sharp rocks, whose edges tell stories of erosion under a dry and relentless wind. Everywhere on Mars the light has muted, copper tone, no blue sky glows above, instead a hazy dome diffuses sunlight into a permanent twilight. Horizon is soft and distant, often obscured by a faint wail of airborne particles. The world seems both near and unreachable, its silence absolute. The composition of this soil reveals much about Mars's past. Iron-rich minerals have oxidized over billions of years, giving the surface its distinct rusty hue. Sulfate and silica deposits point to the slow evaporation of ancient water.